Here at the Luma Touch Academy, we're on a mission to get you editing as creatively as possible. And when we're working with multiple layers on the Luma Fusion timeline, there are so many ways to do that. For example, using these additional timeline video tracks, and remember we have six of them here, means you can create split screens, develop interesting keyframed movements, use green screen effectively, layer text and titles, and even put videos into objects for attention grabbing visuals. This week we're exploring blending, a fantastic technique to use when working with layered content, enabling you to unlock a world of creative possibilities in the edit. Blending compares the color, brightness, or opacity of a video clip with the imagery on the layer below. By using this technique, we can see two or more clips blended together in ways that you just can't achieve by simply dropping the opacity of an entire layered clip, a technique most of us are used to. So let's take a look at blending with this example here. I have a video of a woman smiling at the camera layered on top of a video taken from a drone over the Indian Ocean. Without blend modes, the only way to blend these two layers together is by lowering the opacity of my top clip by double tapping on the clip and looking here under blending in the frame and fit editor. By using this slider, we are effectively painting the layered clip over the background using the opacity slider to determine how transparent the clip is to become. This is often a very effective technique, but sometimes it doesn't produce the result we want as it affects the entirety of the clip and every pixel in it in exactly the same way. It doesn't matter how bright or dark the parts of the video are, the pixels here are all treated in the same way. Blend modes on the other hand, which we can find here by tapping the list icon, compares the chrominance, luminance and opacity of the individual pixels in the selected clip to the layer below it, giving you the opportunity to create different effects depending on the modes you choose. All of these do something different and you'll want to experiment with them to see which gives you the best visuals for the look you're aiming to achieve. Just tapping on them one by one applies the blend mode to the layered footage you've selected. So let's take a look at a few of these and see how they affect our layered clips. Soft light will either darken or lighten the colors of the background image based on the selected image's colors. Lighter colors in the selected image will brighten the background and darker colors will darken the background. This mode used with white video and shapes will create that beautiful soft light effect. Stencil Luma will color all pixels in the selected image either black or transparent. This is based on their luminance, so you can see here lighter pixels become way more transparent. Color Dodge decreases the contrast between the selected image color and the background color, producing a lighter color on all non-black areas of the frame. And finally, Luminosity uses the hue and saturation of the background image along with the luminance of the selected image to effectively tint your top layer, achieving this effect. Remember, with all these blending modes, you can control the opacity to suit the look and feel you're going for. And if you really want to get creative, you can even add keyframing to this to gradually add or remove this effect as your video plays out. So you can see there, there are just so many different visual effects you can create with blending modes. Every video will look different depending on the colors and brightness within it. So experiment and see what visual effects you can create, remembering that you can also add color and effects to either layer to really make the content your own. You can also use blending modes on your titles as well. We found that the stencil alpha is very popular with editors who are looking to create a quick text masking effect, turning the transparent pixels in the title black and the black text transparent. Have a go with this yourself, playing around with the different blending modes and seeing what works for you. And if you have any burning questions, please pop them in the comments below. Or of course, you can join me for a live Zoom workshop where we can do some editing together. Until then, I will see you next week here on the Loom Touch YouTube page.